Action. Action. We're live now? We are live. I don't believe you. <laughs> believe it. Good afternoon, Facebook fans. David Massey reporting live for ADS. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh. Let them Let, be right. Exactly. Right, listen, guys. Um, Dave Master reporting live for ADS TV. Uh, just a quick rundown what we've done today. We're a really busy day today. RS60s were really nice, went down really well with the exhaust, the Acra, and the Miltech. Uh, exciting day in the workshop. The guys have been busy in the, in the background um, tuning some cars. Now, probably one of the most popular cars we tune and look at is the Audi F3 using the T TFSI engine, 2 litre engine. Um, this was booked in this morning for uh, Revo Stage 1. Okay, But before we carry out any modification or any tuning work, it's important and vital that we do a full health check of the vehicle. Okay, um, This would include checking the fault codes, uh, visual health examination up on the ramp, look at tyres, brakes, suspension. Also, common items which we, we know are uh, a weak link in the engines, if you will. Um, I can't take any credit for this. Well, actually, yeah, I, I trained Peter. Yes, of course I can take credit for it. No, but Peter's uh, done a good job in here. Um, typical. This has been in a, a full service history from Audi. Okay, guys? This is the PCV valve. So, what does it do? This stops, um, allows your engine to breathe, number one, very, very important, but it also should prevent positive pressure from the inlet manifold, i.e., generated from your turbo, going into the engine. Okay? Now, this is attached to the inlet manifold. So with Revo software, we're running 1.3, 1.4 bar peak. Um, if you watch this, guys, that air you hear is obviously air escaping right into the engine. So that valve's split. We keep those in stock. There's a modified one. These are obsolete now. So they're always on the shelf. So number one, PCV valve was, was faulty. Obviously, this is quite an old car. Uh, it's tidy, 49,000 miles. Uh, but it's a 2007 car. Now these were fitted with an early version of the, uh, the diverter valve. Now these split for fun, okay? And they've always, all, always been revised now to um, variant G. I think we're on now. Right. D was a popular one. We're on G, which is now a plastic solid um, insert. But as you can see, guys, this rubber diaphragm here starts to perish and will eventually split again that will result in a loss of boost pressure from your turbo so it's important before you put software on one of these cars just flash it in just make sure you check the div diverter valves again we keep these in stock um, and obviously when tuning these engines we always recommend going to a higher heat range seven heat range we always stock these with a fantastic plug um, but to give you an idea on um, s servicing I know always talking about main dealer servicing but this car has been in main dealer servicing from new uh, a couple owned it it's got all the original, look at this guys, what's coming out the back of it. Yeah. It's alright tuning cars and flashing software in, but unless you can do the basics and make sure you've got fuel flow and the right plugs in or resolved all the boost leaks, it's no good to anybody. Pete and I have just been out and data logged this car now, so new fuel filter, new plugs, new diverter valve, new PCV valve. This car is absolutely on the money. There's no correction, it's running, what was it, 2400 millibar? 1.4 bar boost, uh, no correction at all, uh, lambda 0.8 on, on, on wide open throttle, it's lovely, it's perfect, it's a really, really nice car. So it's important you get the foundations right before you start flashing software in, um, which obviously you can't do on the drive, so there you go. Right, listen, I've talked enough, happy Halloween people, well done Peter, good job. Glenn, hi Glenn. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>